Hello everybody, I hope you are all having a great Christmas Eve. Unfortunately, Eddie Burback isn't having a very good one as he tweeted out, The hot chocolate guys from Polar Express just broke into my apartment and assaulted me. Now I know what you're thinking, this is a drama channel. How in the hell does this tweet spawn drama? And when I first looked at it, I didn't think it would either. But Keemstar defied those odds when he quote tweeted him to say, Not trying to throw any shade or anything. But Eddie Burback has always been a talentless hack pandering to neckbeards on Reddit, whose only known skill is networking with Gus Buckets. Ethan Klein responds to Keem by saying, Leave it to Keemstar to go out of his way to attack a very nice boy minding his own business on Christmas Eve Eve. What a piece of shit, lol. He then goes back to respond to Eddie Burback's original tweet by saying, Here for the boys. Great tweet, Eddie. We love you. Gus Johnson responds to Keemstar by saying, <laughs> What the heck, dude? This is so random. Are you just bored right now? It's Christmas Eve Eve. You have to have something better to do. <laughs> Keemstar responds, Well, it's Christmas Eve Eve, and there's something better to do? Why are you tweeting me? If there's something better to do, why is anyone reading this tweet right now? If there's something better to do, why are you reading this tweet right now? Benial20 responds to Keem by saying, A swing and a miss. To which Keem responds, <laughs> What the heck, dude? This is so random. Are you just bored right now? It's Christmas Eve Eve. You have to have something better to do. <laughs> Neagle Pope responds to Keem by saying, Are you so Suffering from dementia? Do we need to put you in a home? To which Keemstar responds, <laughs> what the heck, dude? And then continues to say the rest of it. King Bennett 14 responds to Keem by saying, Grasping at straws there, Keen. To which Keemstar responds yet again with a copy paste of Gus Johnson's tweet. Anything for views responds to Keemstar's tweet by saying, What the fuck is this unprovoked attack, Keem? My god, bro. Keemstar responds, Me unfortunately watching his content. Amanda responds to Keem by saying, There is out of left field, and then there is this tweet. Ted Nivison responds to Keem by saying, Holy shit, you are such a fucking loser, it's actually impressive. Slimesicle responds to Keem by saying, As a great man once said, Yikes. Eddie is a hilarious guy, fantastic content creator, and a fucking stand-up dude. I recommend this channel to all of you reading this. I recommend to Eddie that we hang out again sometime, and I recommend that the spirit of Christmas future haunts this motherfucker tonight. Keemstar responds by saying, It's dog shit. Stop lying. Crank Gameplay's response to Keem by saying, Damn dude, you really have nothing going on, huh? Laughing my ass off. Keemstar responds, Damn dude, you really have nothing going on, huh? Laughing my ass off. Leafy responds, Damn dude, you really have nothing going on, huh? Laughing my ass off. Matt Watson responds, Damn dude, you really have nothing going on, huh? Laughing my ass off. Anything for views responds, Damn dude, you really have nothing going on, huh? Laughing my ass off. Eddie Burback himself responds to Keemstar by saying, Laughing my ass off. To which Keemstar responds, Chill Luigi, it wasn't even that funny. Meth responds, This ratio was funny though. Ethan Klein responds to Eddie by saying, I'm just here to support the boys. Eddie makes another response to Keemstar that says, Keem is very upset I didn't follow him back last year. Keemstar responds to Eddie by saying, I don't remember that at all. I do remember saying to myself, This guy is really not funny. Why does he keep doing that fake stuttering gimmick? I don't think this guy has an original thought in his brain. It seems like he's just agreeing with whatever Reddit says. Eddie responds to Keem by saying, Keem, I don't care. Please reblock me. You are so boring. Keemstar responds, yes, I am so boring. Nice Uno reverse card, moron. I'm so boring that you responded three different times. Learn how to take criticism. You are not funny. Hope you and the family have a good holiday. Going back to Keemstar's original quote tweet, Connor Eats Pants quote tweets Keem and says, Not trying to throw shade or anything, but Keemstar has always been a talentless hack pandering to the easily monetizable mentally underdeveloped preteen demographic, whose only known skill is his consistent inability to be a solid role model for his daughter. Cryptic replies, Talk Connor, talk! To which Connor responds, Never a good Christmas Eve for this man, showing the tweet that Keemstar made on Christmas Eve of 2016, where he says, I just hit a dog going 70 miles per hour on my truck. Such a shitty Christmas Eve right now. It ran up on the highway. I hate this year so much. Yes, it died. Hunter tweets out, Ratioed Keem with a tweet about him hitting a dog while driving 70 miles per hour down the freeway. Connor Eats Pants responds to him by saying, Happy anniversary of Keemstar hitting a dog going 70 miles per hour down the freeway slash Christmas Eve. Hunter responds, Happy anniversary of Keemstar hitting a dog going 70 miles per hour down the freeway to you too, Connor. Matt Watson quote tweets Keemstar and says, Honestly, couldn't have said it any better myself. 
Patrick Holliday's response to him by saying, Hey Matt, can you get me a meeting with Keemstar? Matt Watson responds, Hey Patrick, I can try my best. Don't know him very well, but maybe? Keemstar, this guy's a big fan and wants to meet with you. Very nice guy and very funny podcaster. Keemstar responds, does he have a fake stutter like Eddie? That is the most unfunny shit I've ever seen. Matt Watson responds, not funny man. Eddie, not Eddie, has a real stutter and struggles with it every day. Keemstar responds, yeah, I don't believe that for one second. I actually find it pretty offensive that you would even make that claim. Because there are people that actually deal with stuttering. Matt Watson responds, sorry for offending you Keemstar. I know you'd never do any anything offensive. Sylvie tweets out, Shut up, Keemstar. Go make more roadkill or something. Connor Eats Pants responds by saying, Happy anniversary. Yet again showing the 2016 Christmas Eve tweet from Keem. Keemstar makes a Twitter video titled, Yup. Wait, Keemstar is a dad? Motherfuckers are multiplying? Man decides to repopulate mini gnomes for why. Okay, I feel bad because his kid's <laughs> dad is such a piece of shit with anger issues. For real, imagine having to tell people that Keemstar is your dad. She, her, he, him, they. Yep. Keem follows up the tweet by saying, I think I hit the central core of the dream stands with this one. The replies are hilarious. Lil Crippet ratios Keemstar when he says, Ratioed by the sheer power of awesomeness. Twizfist tweets out, Keemstar picking fights with everyone on Christmas Eve. At least he's not hitting a dog while going 70 miles per hour in his truck. Keemstar quote tweets her and says, Clearly this person is trying to poke fun at the time where I accidentally hit a dog on Christmas Eve going 70 miles per hour in my truck. But did you notice they assumed my gender? Cancelled! Twizfist responds by saying, If you put your preferred pronouns in your bio, this wouldn't have happened. Just saying. Banny Khan tweets at Keemstar, I don't know man, not accepting other people's personal pronouns is pretty cringe. Keemstar quote tweets him and says, You literally just assumed my gender. I can play social justice warrior better than all of you. Keemstar then follows up his tweet by saying, I warned them. I can play social justice warrior better than they can. Showing that Bannycon protected his tweets after Keemstar quote tweeted him. Keemstar continues to tweet about this when he says, I really don't understand this younger generation. Why would anyone put their pronouns in their Twitter bio? The entire point of having a pronoun is to be offended when someone calls you the wrong pronoun. So why give people the answer? All I'm saying is if you give people the correct pronoun, you are missing a golden opportunity of being a victim and going viral on social media. Think about all the tweets you could be making crying about being a victim and all the likes you would get. Be smarter. Leafy responds to him by saying, Gender doesn't define them which is why they put it in their bio. Ryan responds to him by saying, Understand these nuts. TikTok TikTok quote tweets Kim and says, Is this how you trying to stay relevant? Cause I forgot you existed until like 5 minutes ago. Fuck off old man. Keemstar responds, W. Rachel responds to Kim by saying, Who keeps letting this dipshit have access to an internet connection? Keemstar quote tweets her and says, I really don't know why you were coming at me, considering the fact that your mouth had to go get a Ouija board to attempt to connect with your dead brain. Rachel responds laughing my ass off. Imagine trying to roast me for wearing a mask. Keemstar quote tweets her and says, Trust me, you wearing a mask is probably the best thing for everyone. Maybe get a bigger mask though. Step 1. Talk shit to someone bigger on Twitter. Step 2. When they talk shit back, play victim. Step 3. When getting criticism for actually starting it, act like you understand and you are taking responsibility but then play the victim again harder. Showing a tweet that Rachel made saying, Also, Keem is bullying a bipolar person in a depressive state who also has two anxiety disorders. If I didn't have a support system and couldn't handle the bullying, this could lead to a suicide. That cunt doesn't give a shit about anyone. At all. Keemstar then tweets, lol, showing another tweet from Rachel that says, ah, it's 4am. This has actually been a really positive experience for me. Thank you to all you sweet people who have rallied around me and made me feel loved. Hello new friends. The opinions of Keem and his incels mean nothing to me. All I feel is warm and fuzzy from your love. Thank you. To which Fluid Shot responds, Imagine attacking someone first on Twitter, then when they respond to you, you complain on Twitter they are sending followers to attack you. Let's be honest, he did you a favor. Your Twitter barely gets interactions. You needed the exposure. 
Keemstar then ends this off by saying, Good night. He, him, her, she, they, them. <laughs> we had too much fun tonight on Twitter. I'm out. I hope I made Christmas Eve Eve fun. Uh, I got a lot of family stuff tomorrow, but I'll be there tomorrow night to fight with you again. Keemstar then clarifies his position on pronouns in bio when he tweets out, my thoughts on pronouns in bio. Now, don't get me wrong. I am very proud of those tweets last night that went viral. I mean, perfect troll, perfect bait. Um, but I guess what I want to say is when it comes to transgender people, if there's a biological male that's transgendered into a female and wants to be referred to as her or she, why not? Like, I, I don't, I don't see any reason to be like, no, you're a boy. Like, I don't, I don't get that. I've never understood it. Like, what's the point? How does that affect you in any way? <clears throat> I hope I'm not coming across like I'm woke because that shouldn't even be a woke idea. That just seems like common sense. But what I don't understand is when cis, I think the term is cis, right? Cis people, straight people, not, not straight is the wrong term, but non-transgender people, let's say it's a biological female, puts her pronouns as her and she in her bio. Now from the outside looking in, when I see that, I go, oh, that's a transgender person. That's why her pronouns are in there but she's not a transgender person. Now I understand that the whole point of doing that is to be an ally to transgender people, right? So they don't feel alone. So everyone's putting their pronouns in there, but it just creates so much goddamn confusion. And if I was a transgender person, I'm not putting my fucking pronouns in my bio. I shouldn't have to. Normal cis people don't have to. I would be like, I'm a female and you're going to call me a female. And if you call me a dude and try to offend me, I know better than that. That's, that's a troll. That's some bait. I'm not falling for it. You are going to respect my female ass, period. <laughs> that's how I would approach it. I don't know. I wouldn't even get into the whole woke game of putting my pronouns in there and shit. Because that seems like you're just asking for, you know, people to target you. And that's about it for Keemstar's Christmas Eve Eve escapades. As he said in the Twitter video, he might continue to fight people tonight. And he is trending on Twitter, so there probably will be more on this situation. So if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Although it might take me a couple days to make that video, as I am going to be leaving my house for the holidays. And I won't be here to record any new videos. But don't worry, because I'll go straight back to recording videos with a fresh mindset right after I celebrate Christmas. Since this is my last video before Christmas, I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and hope you all have a great holiday despite maybe not being able to see family due to COVID. I'd also like to give a very special thanks to my channel members, in particular Scrubby who decided to donate $100 a month. That is absolutely insane. Thank you so much, dude. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video.